Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, Paul over at Diecast Graveyard is having a <clears throat> TV and and or movie car challenge. And I have the perfect little car for that. It's a uh, Hot Wheels Stingray. And it's based on the 1959 XP87 Stingray Racer created by Bill Mitchell. A one-of-a-kind concept car uh, that was also used in, the S in SCCA racing and ultimately became the basis for the 1963 to 1967 Corvette styling. Those were also the years that Stingray was attached to the uh, Corvettes. So, uh, ironically, the, uh, this did uh, kind of predate the 63 by about four years. And it's a beautiful little car. Of course, uh, it has since been uh, restored to the actual SCCA racing regalia and uh, no longer looks like the car that Elvis drove. But, uh, you know, it's a nice little car, and ever since I picked up a couple of these, I have always wanted to replicate the uh, XP, what do you call it? XP, XP87, sorry, Stingray Racer. <coughs> Excuse me, so, that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, get this thing all blown apart and take a look at the pieces and parts. And we're gonna see uh, just how close I can get to the uh, XP87 racer. So stay tuned and let's get this build started. Okay. Here are all the pieces and parts to our XP87 Stingray. And I already got it drilled and tapped. And get that strip, see how it comes out. And other than a little bit of rust and dirt, windshield unit looks really good. And a little bit of, a little bit of detail on the interior. I don't see the mobile phone that Elvis was talking on and everybody had such a fit about in 1967. <laughs> and here's our chassis. Plastic base, no real detail on the bottom. Got a little bit of corrosion there where the axles obviously have been wet just a little bit. And in side pipes, uh oh. All right, well, let's go ahead and move along, get this in the stripper, do something about the wobbly suspension that this has, and uh, see how it goes. Stay tuned.
And this is a quick look back at where we started, the uh, 1959 Corvette, uh, Chevrolet Corvette XP87 Stingray concept car, AKA the car Elvis drove in Clambeck. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move along and see how close I got to the movie car. Stay tuned. And here is our completed little XP87 Corvette Stingray 1959. And uh, as Elvis fans like to call it, the Clam Bag Corvette. I uh, did my best to replicate the movie car, painted it a beautiful shade of sunrise red rust-oleum and uh, also uh, painted a, just the front and rear parts of the base to uh, pull that uh, those lower balance panels out. Chromed out uh, the side pipes and got the latches on the hood sides and the emblem. There's supposed to be another latch behind the door, but it's not on this casting. Chromed out the grill, put a little null oil, and picked out the headlights, and picked, also detailed out the rear license frame and the three tail lights back there, and uh, got the uh, chrome the panels on the hood and made a hood scoop for it to replicate the one that was on the car, and then I uh, went in and. Uh, Detailed out the interior, picked out the uh, chrome on the steering wheel, the shifter, the uh, center console, and also picked out the uh, seat belts. And then the wheels are uh, actually stock matchbox wheels. And once I chromed them out, they look remarkably like the magnesium wheels that were on the car in the movie. But uh, really love this little car. It uh, has always been a favorite of mine. Uh, my wife and I were watching Clam Bake one afternoon and uh, on a Saturday. And uh, when this car came on the screen, I said, hey, wait a minute, and I ran back and grabbed one of these off the uh, display shelf, and I told her, I said, look, I have the clam bake car, but it's just really uh, doesn't look like the clam bake car. Ugly, ugly tampos, ugly paint, but uh, not so now. Well, I would like to thank Paul at Diecast Graveyard for having this challenge and giving me the opportunity to finally build the uh, Clambake Corvette or the XP87 Stingray concept, if you will. Uh, <clears throat> I uh, hope you like this video and I hope you uh, go out and take the opportunity to check out all of the other builds and uh, I think you're gonna see some interesting cars. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Uh, had to uh, kind of reach and do a lot of fabricating to make it work the way I wanted and look the way I wanted. And I did my very best to capture what I believe the clam bake car would look like. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not currently a subscriber, please do. And be sure you share and tell your friends. And uh, be watching for future videos that I have coming out. And uh, I will see you in the next.